How's it going guys? Welcome back to my channel, Fast Hands Gaming. I'm your boy Fast. As you can see, Christmas is finally here. Um, so I'm going to go over the packs with you, the boss fight, kind of his abilities, and just what I think everyone should be spending if you're willing to spend money on. Um, free to play players, I'll show you the few ways that you can kind of enjoy the event as well. Um, so first things first, as you can see, the Santa Claus sack. Um, these are everything that you can get out of the little gift boxes that you get from doing quick battle. Um, I've already done the quick battles, so I'm not going to go show you what you get. Um, but as you can see here, you do get some scrolls. The dust, the magic power is going to be really important to a lot of players. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad. You just want to, so every day you want to go through free to play players. You're going to want to go through, use all of your diamonds on the quick battle to get maximum rewards um that is going to be probably the really the only thing that you're going to be going for this event um sadly the candy canes are pay to play um it is what it is i do apologize nothing i can do um but yeah let's go ahead and check out the boss okay so ignite ignitus um first off love the skin i hope when he finally drops that we get the skin it is amazing i love it I think it looks amazing. Now, the skills, I do not know if they will be the same skills as when he drops, but we can go over them real quick. Um, so the first one is he has an AOE damage. that does 25% chance to stun th targets for three rounds. So obviously, 25% is kind of low, but if it does hit, um, three rounds is a lot of damage to take. Um, so it's not too bad, and it's an AOE, which is nice. Um, don't forget you can up his skill with mastery so you have a better chance. Um, the next skill is he is un when he is ever affected by negative debuffs, uh, skill damage will go up to 40% by five times. It can be stacked five times, so that means 200%. So 200% skill damage isn't bad. Um, I am upset with this skill uh, just due to the fact that it targets warriors. Um, if this had been a skill that targets assassins, he would have been MVP on almost everybody's team due to the fact that everybody runs assassins. Um, however, it is only for warriors, so I don't know if the dev team thinks that warriors are going to be prominent later on in the meta. Right now, you you see maybe one. Um, Zygor is not a warrior, but he is built as a tank, basically a warrior build. Um, so again, I am upset about that skill. I wish it was for assassins. And then his final passive is has a 40% chance to increase attack and by 20% for three rounds. So he's not bad. Um, you know, this is the best way to get rewards. So obviously the more damage you do, obviously legendary, legendary chest, you're going to get 15 candy canes. So get free to play players. You want to be using as much damage as you can to hit him as hard as you can. New players, it's going to be a little bit harder for you. Um, but you don't want to put any healers when you hit him. You just want to go pure damage. It's like the, the boss fight, fights in the uh, guild dungeon. Um, next, we have the Sweets Factory. Um, so, obviously, everyone's going to be shooting for the, the 600 and 1,000 candy canes. Um, those are the best prizes. And then you go down and list. Um, the next one, I would say, is the Ancient Relic. Um, that's the next one I would personally go for. And then we have the exclusive offer, offers. Now, I'm assuming that everyone's going to go for Zygor. He is $20, you know, but he's, out of the three of these, he's probably the best buy. Um, I don't like Icarus, personally, and I think 50 bucks for that skin is just not worth it. Um, you do get the 15 Ancient Relics, but again, I just don't think it's worth it. Um and then we have the Jingle Bells check-in. So some people were complaining that the check-in was crap. You know what? It's free stuff. You can't complain about – I mean, if you're complaining about free stuff, then, you know, <laughs> what are you doing? You know, you get – especially the Destiny Stones. You get ten Destiny – or seven Destiny Stones, which are typically around five to 600, um, depending where you find them. And I can say that interest sc premium scrolls are about 600. So, you know – it's a good deal for what it is. And then, obviously, pay-to-play players. So here we go. So these are what you want to be going for, in my mind. Um, personally, I like these. I always like scrolls. And for four ninety nine, you get 150, five scrolls, uh, and some diamonds. Um, the VIP is whatever. And then the 99 pack, everybody should be getting these every day, even if it's not a holiday. Um, you get three three blue souls. So if you're willing to go and buy something off a dollar menu, you should be willing to buy this. Um, if you combine the three with the one free blue soul you get every day, usually in the 30-day month, you'll have enough to get one 
uh, S rank hero or higher. Um, it's typically what I do personally. I think it's a good deal. But again, this is what I think you should be going for if you're willing to, you know, spend money. Um, those are the only daily packs that they have. The exclusive offers are the only other thing that you can really get the candy canes from. Um, but yeah, uh, I like the event. I like the boss fight. Um, again, I think this is probably the best part of the, of the whole Christmas event. Um, I just enjoy it. I think it's just cool to see a new hero. It makes me excited for when he comes out. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone has a great day and Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. Um, but yeah, like, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. And yeah, have a great day.